Hello, this is video 8 in the Middle Way series. So now the topic is mostly about the body in relationship to the Middle Way and a sense of how your attitudes towards your body can polarise one way or the other that you can be indulgent or harsh and ascetic you can just give in and just let it do whatever it wants to do whenever it wants to do it or there's a sense, uh, a sense of subjugation and holding it down controlling it uh, with your ideas and uh, even your, your vision of what you think you should be so part of the middle way is to recognise that there is this range of uh, movements in the body uh, and tendencies in the body of just it wanting to do certain things and actually taking in a sense of what is healthy, what is useful in terms of your practice very generally. So for example, if uh, you, you have a too galling attitude and you uh, subjugate the body too much, it will work against you. Uh, if you push it and uh, constrain it in a way which damages it, then it will work against you, definitely. And the same can be said to be true the other way. If you do, sometimes if you just let the body have what it wants all the time and, and its appetites in all its various forms, then it will take you into areas which you can find quite difficult. Uh, and out of uh, the context or the arena of your values and what you think is important. So part of the middle way approach is to have a sense of the instincts and the appetites of the body and to get a sense of what it needs in a healthy way, what serves your general purpose without going to extremes and what allows your body to be present with this sort of swing towards appetites and perhaps even uh, negation. So you're actually getting a sense all the time of where is my body in, in these terms at the moment. Does it just want to stuff its face or does it want to be kind of tight and controlled? Of course the mind and the emotions are engaged with that process but the body has its own instincts and it has its own uh, momentums as well although not completely separate from the mind. So part of the middle way approach is not just to control the body but to actually be aware of the appetites and instincts and tendencies of the body and to actually harness them and to have them flowing in the direction of your practice so that they serve your practice rather than going against it. 